G'day, cheers everyone. Sonia Bernard here, linked by Ink, your independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Yay! Okay, today is actually not June 22nd. I am filming these in advance. Um, I am currently off in Utah or Arizona. One of the two, just depends. June 22nd, I'll be in Utah. Um, so what I'm doing this week, normally I come on every week and I do a card class that is free with a purchase. And when you place a minimum of $35 order or more, then you get a free card class. But um, I won't be doing a card class today. I will be doing a card. It'll be a really cute card. And um, I'm going to show you step by step how to do that. But instead, while I'm away, since I can't make up cards and everything, I won't be in my craft room, I'm going to have a mystery box special. Yay, I'm excited. So, a mystery box is super fun because you place an order and it is a minimum $50 order, okay? But you will get a mystery box with products valued at at least $30. And it could have um, stamps in there. There could be paper, ribbon, embellishments. So, um, yeah, you don't know what you're going to get. Now, um, disclaimer here, so you can't say, well, I didn't know. It is not brand new products. It is retired product that might be gently used. Every um, every kit, every mystery box will have one brand new stamp set in it that's never been touched, okay? I will make sure that goes in there. And then um, at a minimum, it'll be $30, but knowing me and how much stuff I have, um, you're not gonna, you're not gonna um, be disappointed, put it that way. So it's kind of like a BOGO, except it's a mystery. You're getting um, stuff in there, that um, now if you get something just say you already have it you know you go oh well I already have this well swap with a friend hey friend do you have this what do you have you know or give us a gift you know just Chris Christmas is every year birthdays are every year okay so there will be something fun and now if you place an order of a hundred dollars or more then your package is going to be valued at at least and I mean at least because I tend to go overboard <laughs> at at least $70, $150 or more. Now, you must use host code for all of these. Your package is going to be valued at at least $100. That's $100 in free products coming to you. Um, $300 and your package will be valued at $250. You're going to get a big box, <laughs> okay? So, the, the all the shipping... Um, you're not paying for the shipping, you're not paying um, for any of that, and all these amounts are before shipping and tax. So it'll be $30, and that's before any shipping or tax was added into that value, okay? So it's not like, oh, it was like a stamp set, and then I added shipping, and I added tax, and then we got to $30. we are not doing that. We're doing at least $30, and then I'm shipping it free to your door. So just make sure when you order... You're going to order using a host code in the link below. Make sure that you, number one, use that host code. If you don't use the host code, I can't give you a free mystery box. And number two, oh, I just lost my train of thought. <laughs> okay, but make sure you're using that host code, okay? And um, again, that'll be, okay, when this is go, okay, I've got all my dates in front of me. So, your you, this mystery box special is good between now and June 30th if you're on my email list you already got an email I can't remember when I have that set to go out but it should be before today or today okay um, I think I put it out before June 22nd if you're on my email list and if you're not on my email list go ahead and jump on um, you can subscribe to my email in is look in the in the product description video description okay so last day to order midnight june 30th the boxes will ship beginning the week of july 7th because i'm away and i gotta get back and get unpacked and then get back in the craft room so the week of july 7th not meaning actually on july 7th the week of starting july 7th somewhere within that week i'll be putting everything it'll be like christmas um 
I'm probably going to go overboard. Let's just be honest. I have so much designer series paper that will be cut down to six by six pieces. Um, I am going to spoil you. I'm telling you now, don't miss out. Don't miss out. Um, use that postcode in the link. Minimum $50 order before shipping and tax. So your order has to be prior to shipping and tax, 50, 100, 150, or 300, okay? Using the host code link that I've sent you. Okay, let's get on with the, um, the card. And today I used, this is not available to you yet. It's June 22nd, July 6th. This is available to customers. It is an online exclusive. Um, now, if you join my team today, which you can also do um, the links in the description, you can add this onto a starter kit. So if you're like, I mean, it's a great time to get um, your discount permanently because when you place when you place a ninety nine, you place a starter kit order, you pay ninety nine dollars. You're going to get a hundred and fifty five dollars in products right now. That's amazing. Normally it's one hundred and twenty five. So it's extra free product. I believe it's 155. Double check, double check me someone. Oh, wait one second, I don't wanna tell you wrong. I don't wanna tell you wrong. So that is just now between, that started June 1st and that only goes till the 30th of June and it is $155 worth of product for just $99. So you can add this into that starter kit should you wish to. I'm going to turn this down so I can show you these online exclusives that are only available to demonstrators right now or to people who join, which you would be a demonstrator. Okay, let's get this sorted so I can do this, do that, do that. Turn it down. Here we go. Okay. Oh, I haven't even got my phone up and running. Oh, so I, don't, I can't even see anything. I'm excited. I need a vacation. Okay, let's see. Um, just give me a minute, sorry. And you can always just skip forward <laughs> if you don't want to listen to all this, all my rambling on. Just skip forward. Okay. Alrighty, let me just get that in there. So, let me get this. Oh, it's a hot mess. What are we doing? Okie dokie. This is the designer series paper that's currently available along with the horse and sleigh, the horse and sleigh dies. And the die has got the horse with the sleigh. It's got some snow drifts or they could also be clouds, I guess. I think this is a little decorative piece that can go on the sleigh or on the horse. I think maybe where you put the bells and stuff. Um, a tree, another tree, another little decorative piece for the sleigh. For the bottom portion and then there's a little bunny rabbit here so wishing you a season of cheer and a happy new year sending warmth your way and joyful and it's never too early to get started on Christmas cards now this paper is six by six pack of designer series paper you get 48 pieces and it lists all the colors up in here that it coordinates with making it very easy to coordinate I think you're going to love these. We're going to do a quick sneak peek. So there's four sheets of each kind. Let me just explain a six by six. You get four pieces of each design and they're double sided. So I'm going to show you two and two. Okay, so we're going to flip through these real quick. This is so cute. And we're actually, this is on our card today. So we're using that. And then we've got these wonderful other patterns that we can use. And I think these would pair great with a lot of other stamp sets we currently have. Like, think he's the man. Um, so you can see, look at that little fox. This is a nice wood green. And I love this one. We're going to use this one on a card today as well. Uh, not today. This is actually going to be um, a future card, July 6th card, actually. And how cute are all these? Look how many. Look at this gorgeous fun a little bambi deer and i'm just loving that we've got such a great choice of um of solids here and a masculine it, it really like i really love um he's all that and 
I was looking and I was kind of sad when that paper went away because I really liked the masculine feel it had. And here's one I'm using next week. That'll be June 29th. I'll show you how to make that. And um, I'm recording everything today, which is today is actually the Saturday before Father's Day. But I have to get this all done so that you guys have something every week while I'm gone. I didn't want to leave you with nothing. So hopefully then um, this gives you something to look at until I get back and can resume with my normal scheduled classes. And there we go. That's a lot of beautiful paper. So I'm actually using this paper in the next three cards that I do over the next three Thursdays, which is June 22nd, June 29th, and July 6th. So you've got an ordering special that's going on now with that mystery box special until June 30th. And then I'm going to have another special one away for that last week. Okay, so this is the card we're making today. And it is so cute, just like this, right? But it's called a seagull fold card. I prefer pelican. <laughs> In South Carolina, there's a lot of pelicans. Let me show you how this goes. It opens up like that. So we've got kind of a little scene happening here. Now, this is actually three different sheets of paper. I started doing it with this just one sheet, but I couldn't get, because of the, the um, width, you know, this is a four inch piece. This is a one and a half and one and a half. That's bigger than six. So I couldn't use just one six by six piece. So I found this one, I think, that coordinates well with that one. And then just these cute accent pieces. And you would write here. So you just fold it over and you can write everything in there. And when it stands up, it'll stand up like this. And this is where you get the seagull fold, it's called. Um, like I said, I prefer pelican, but that's okay. <laughs> so that is what it looks like. It stands up really cute. It's adorable. Um, there we go. Letters and all the dimensions. And it fits in a regular size envelope like that. So it should. <laughs> Don't make a liar out of me. Okay. Um, here we go. Everything we need. So this is not a kit option available. Sorry. This is just showing you how to make this fun sea, seagull fold card and then you can go ahead and make this card and use um, any paper that you have that um, you want to make this card with. I mean you can use anything. It's great for, you know, our centerpiece has that really cute cavern on it. So if you're really highlighting some DSP, but you can actually just use anything that you want so we've got some more little pieces of dsp i'm making sure i've got everything yeah and then i use these tree pieces and again that was from so let me show you which pieces i used if you do get this paper pack i used this one and i i cut it out originally i had cut here but um i i ended up just cutting around like i cut some off the top cut some off the bottom to get my four by four inch um square and here, I cut an inch and a half off here, inch and a half off here. And then you'll see this one is actually from that side. And this one is from this side. And you'll see where I've cut them and it's at a different spot. Because I wanted the tree in the frame. And this one I wanted a little bit of that brown to show. And then I wanted the tree in that as well. So that's where I cut that piece. And then the green was, um, so I used this whole piece here, right? But it's got this little Bambi on it. I didn't want to cut Bambi. So I cut um, across the, did I cut across the top and bottom? No, that's not right. That's not the piece I used. I believe I cut it, yes, like this. Because it's two inches and two inches. So I cut it like that and like that. And so I would have this piece in the middle with the Bambi in it. So just two inches on that side, two inches on that side. And that way I could use that little piece in there. I use this for something else. <laughs> I think I was like figuring stuff out. So that's how I 
got all those little pieces out of that those three different sheets of paper so i did want to preserve bambi so i mean it's not really bambi but we know okay so let's go through all the sets of measurements this is i did use a thick white card stock and both of these pieces are eight and a quarter and four and a quarter okay i'm going a little slower today because i want you to take time to write it down eight and a quarter and four and a quarter and we have scored these at two and a quarter at four and at six and a quarter and both of them are scored so both of them you score them at two and a quarter at four and six and a quarter and that's on the long way you want it the long way and then you're putting it through and you're scoring this way okay don't score that way it's not going to work because that is not <laughs> six and a quarter long then we are going to take a piece of thick white cardstock and it's just four and a quarter by four and a quarter and you know what since i have until the 22nd to get this done ooh, maybe while i'm on the plane i can write up these directions and then i can um upload it onto the video and ask while i'm traveling okay so this you'll see has this part it's a bit wider than this part here okay if you were to hold them up to each other you would see that one is shorter than the other so you want the longer end on to the left okay and you're going to fold that away from you and that's called a mountain fold so fold it away like that okay and you, you might want a bone folder for this then you are going to take this score this um, score line and you're going to fold it inwards like you're going to fold that one inwards and then you're going to take this one and you're going to fold it inwards so you're going to just turn it over to the left and fold it inwards so when you turn it up you're going to have going away from you coming towards you going away from you and then this one's going to come towards you but we want this nice and flat anyway so when it's laying down that's what it looks like oh no my um i see my phone spinning oh no i hope this is working otherwise i'm gonna have to do this whole thing again oh no i just see something spinning in the middle but i see me moving and everything so i hope it's working fine okay so then we've got the larger part again and it's just by a small i think it's like a quarter of an inch bigger on this side and you do the same thing fold it away from you and then you can fold it inwards like a book i want to pick that up and just fold it there and then you're going to take this one and fold it inwards like back from right to left and that will give you turn it upside down and you'll have these two pieces like this so if we're looking at, from the side view we're looking like this two mountains and then it's folded over so now we're going to take our four by four and a quarter by four and a quarter piece we're going to put some glue just on this side and you see that doesn't go all the way to the side but when you put it on here you want to do it so it's about an eighth of an inch there and then it'll get about just over an eighth of an inch on either side okay so this is how we do this and we put some glue down here and pop that down now i did get this from um i followed susan camfield's um instructions on how to do this and it was very easy flip that over you see right there we've got a section we can just put glue on this section that's that flat bit okay but i'm going to put glue on that bit i don't want to put it on here because i might go too far i'm gonna butt that up against that one and then just make sure it's lining up there lining up here and we're just gonna rub that down just let it sit for a second 
how this is so easy once you do this it's so easy and look what we have here and we're just gonna let that sit just for a second because um, it is you know liquid glue so why we do that oh no I didn't make my little sentiment well I will just show you what I did we don't have to do this whole one um, I forgot to die cut out the sentiment piece so with the little sentiment this is using the stylish shapes dies and then I got the little joyful stamp and I used mossy meadow ink and just stamped that on there and it fits right on I mean you might have a little bit of the of the Y or the F just there on the bottom but it still fits and you can you know you could switch that out for anything you want okay so that was in the mossy meadow ink and I totally forgot I got I got the ink I got the stamp set forgot the little the little label so here's where we just put everything together we've got this piece of DSP and this is a four inch by four inch piece and we're just gonna pop this down on here now if you don't have um, paper that's got like scenic on it you can put anything here you can even stamp this piece this four by four this four and a quarter by four and a quarter you can stamp that you can put layers here you can like let your imagination go wild okay I just wanted something that's highlighting um, this gorgeous DSP and you can figure out like which side do I want the tree on I think I've yeah I put it on the right to me it just looks good that way so these just simply go on just putting our, our multi-purpose liquid glue on there and these just pop on here and you just center them I'm trying to do that while I, I really should. Where's my glasses? Here we go. Get those glasses on. There we go. And I will get all this written up for you while I am on vacation. While I'm, because I've got to fly. So, you know, you need something to do when you're on that plane, don't you? That'll be perfect. I'll type that up. I've got my iPad there we go so we just put those two down and that is one and a half by four inches one and a half by four inches and then these two pieces is two inches by four inches okay so we'll just put this down and you could make the whole scene go all the way out you could change it up however you want again like I said I'm just trying to highlight this cute DSP so that's why I did a lot of the DSP on this one and again this is the horse and sleigh available July 6th I know it's a sneak peek and you can't use it yet but while you're waiting to purchase it you can um, make a card in um wait oh I, I thought i did something wrong for a second <laughs> i was like wait i can't fold it <laughs> oh lord okay so that just folds in so when they pull out the card they'll be they're probably going to turn it like this and then they're going to be like what oh look so it might take a minute it took a second for me to figure out how to fold it. <laughs> oh, it's been a long day. I actually had a class earlier today. It was a lot of fun. So that's how it looks. You can leave it with no sentiment. It could just be more decorative. Or you can make it and put a sentiment on it. So you may want to leave it blank when we're really focusing on this really cute DSP. And maybe you just want it as, you know, up on the mantle as a little um, decor piece. There you go. I hope you absolutely love it. Um, go ahead and get those orders in. You don't want to miss out on your mystery box while supplies last. And um, I'm going to spoil you. So go ahead and do that. And again, if you want to join the team and get um, stuff like this early, then go ahead and do that because 
after your first kit, you know, you order your kit, and then after that, the next time you put in an order, you're getting 20% off. And with a lot of the current DSP that's on sale, that means you're getting that for 35% off right now. You can't, you can't argue with that. It's a great deal. And if you just want to join so you can have that 20% discount, we're all for that on my team. It's like we do it your way. Whichever way you want to, you know, um, play with Stampin' Up, that's the way we do it. So there's never any pushing or salesy stuff. That's just not my, that's not how I roll. I'm like, what do you want? You just want to have fun? Then have fun. I love playing with all this stuff. Um, I'm just, you know, I also like having it as my jobby. But that's not for everybody. So not a problem. We do it your way, okay? On my team, we do it your way. And you get free PDFs every month, uh, multiple free PDFs and classes, and um, access to me anytime you want. Well, not anytime. Girls go sleep, <laughs> but I always do get back to you. So, okay, guys. Oh, sneak peek from the next one. Okay, take care. Bye now.